This Ridleyo is sponsored by ShieldMutual.com. When government goons attack, Shield Mutual has your back. I've been getting a little more critical lately of someone who's traditionally been one of my favorite activists. Garrett Ian, formerly of Concord, now of Keene, is partly more vulnerable to criticism simply because he's more active than most. And that's, of course, the thing I can't criticize about him. But criticism of activists is sort of like a movie review. They're ready to make their move. And the other inmates who are neutralists are worried. Because the chimps have been studying matters mechanical. Nobody does a movie review about a movie that's really bad because no one's ever seen it. Maybe I would give a, a negative movie review, for instance, to Die Hard 28. But that doesn't mean I don't like Bruce Willis. And it doesn't mean his movie's absolutely awful. It means that it's, it could be better next time. That sort of thing. So anyway, the, my criticisms of Garrett they do give me an opportunity to draw more attention to uh, a, a major grievance that I have with the authorities. Hey, what's going on? Hold on. Stop the bike. I got a search warrant for you. The state police, possibly some of the better police you'll find in the whole world, the least fascist generally, really stepped over the line when they participated in the seizure of Garrett's camera here over allegations that he has too good a memory and that he's too accurate in his reporting. So you can go ahead and shut that off for me. Why? What's this about? Like I said, I got a search warrant. I'll explain it to you. The butthurt bureaucrats at the city of Keene, I guess, had some sort of a meeting with Garrett. They refused to meet with him unless he agreed to not record them. And the next day or so, or you know, next week or whatever, he re you know he wrote down a report of what happened during the meeting, and they accused him of being too accurate in his report. He couldn't have possibly been that accurate unless he'd been recording them, which of course is a fundamental human right. But the only evidence he'd even done that was that he remembered too much. Anyway. I see a lot of mistakes, uh, it, it, honest mistakes, in Garrett's handling of this whole situation. First of all, I think it was probably, and I think he probably realizes this, it was probably a mistake for him to go into a room with those bureaucrats uh, without a camera, without a lawyer, without, I don't even think he had anyone with him. I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed to get pretty much nothing out of a meeting like that. You're not going to get any good video out of it because you can't take your camera. You're not going to get much evidence against them because your lawyer is not there. You don't have witnesses. Although I'm actually not sure about that part. It's possible that he had someone in there. You're wasting your time jumping through their hoops, basically, and giving them more reason to hurt you. No search warrant to seize all your recording devices, cell phones. Which, of course, they immediately did with Garrett. Generally, the only way you win with interacting with the government is if you get video of them doing something bad or you... Uh, get evidence that your lawyer can use to sue them and get you money, I guess. That's much more of a long shot than what you're going to get, you know, trying to get a video. I'm reminded of uh, the words that I think it was Lorenzo de' Medici's uh, uh, father or, or grandfather gave him before he came to power. I'm not sure it was Lorenzo, but it was one of the Medici's. Uh, he said to go to the house of uh, go to the house of government when summoned, but do not go to the house of your own volition or too soon. <laughs> in Venice of the time, I believe the house of government was where they would take people up to the top and throw them off, and as you were climbing the stairs, you could see people being tortured on each side. Things haven't really changed dramatically. The fascism now is just softer, and I'm sorry it wasn't Venice; it was Florence. But anyway. Another mistake, or a mistake I will allege, is that Garrett probably should have, he was pretty close to the Keene Activist Center when they took him down, or took his camera down, I guess it was around early July, he probably should have yelled for help. Uh, it's a close call on something like that. You are kind of going to be disturbing the neighborhood that might create a little bit of a negative vibe for the CAC, but it's Generally, I think best not to go quietly.
ShieldMutual.com, the Agora's first defense agency. Keep moving. Keep moving right now. Your shield against the police state. But their mission isn't military. They use crowdsourced PR, digital fundraising, and legal aid to make you a hard target. You are one of their customers, right? If not, check them out at shieldmutual.com. When government goons attack, Shield Mutual has your back. Your layer of protection against a world gone fascist. Your protective umbrella against a world reigning fascism. Your layer Your protective umbrella against a world reigning fascists. Your protective umbrella in a world reigning fascists. Your protective umbrella in a Your protective umbrella in a world reigning fascists.